Pasta is usually a good source of carbs um, for the next day, so I usually have this before, night before the game. And then come on game day, still tired. Still had some more years at the Warriors, but wasn't um, on a little bit. So, you know, I got an opportunity to come up here and um, get out of my comfort zone, and I, and I took that move, so yeah. So it's probably the hardest, um, you know, leaving behind my mum and dad and, um, you know, especially all my, my boys and on the street, um, you know, used to hang out every day, you know, leaving them, coming here, making new friends, it was pretty hard for me. But it's um, also been a blessing, you know, like learning about myself and, you know, learning how to cook and that and do things on my own. So, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Now, I'm not the best cook, but being away from family, I had to learn. We have to watch what we eat, especially at the Titans. Um, sort of body weight's pretty big. It was at the Warriors too. And, but I honestly think this meal is pretty good, you know, like it's easy to make. My nutritionist says, got heaps of um, nutritionist <laughs> stuff in it, so yeah. I usually go out to a cafe every game day. Couldn't do that last year because we were in this sort of bubble, but yeah, that's what, that was my pre-game ritual. Copy that off Ben Mottolino. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind a bit of RSA. I make my ears open to anything, to be honest. Um, I don't mind a bit of um, Island Jams. Yeah, I, I like G in it too, so. I don't really get pumped up. I just, you know, just sort of like, nice listening to you, you know, relax sort of thing. But I like Richard Parker, yeah. Bit of the old school bands, you know. Um, hopefully just to improve on my game and work, you know, on my craft and get, you know, um, chip away at the little things that, um, that I'm, you know, currently trying to work on. Keep it fresh.